Good morning, brothers and sisters. I hope you're having a great Sabbath day today. I'm grateful that Bishop Barfus has given me some time to be able to speak to you this morning, and I'm grateful for the ability that we have to use these electronics to our advantage to be able to stay in touch with one another. One of the things that the Bishop asked me to speak on was the admonition of our prophet to follow him and to seek Jesus Christ in all we do. And also, in regards to the restoration, to build a personal testimony of Joseph Smith and the restoration of the church. I'd like to share with you an excerpt from one of the talks that the prophet gave during the recent conference. Regardless of where you live or your what your circumstances are, the Lord Jesus Christ is your Savior, and God's prophet Joseph Smith is your prophet. He was foreordained before the foundation of the earth to be the prophet of this last dispensation, when nothing shall be withheld from the saints. Revelation continues to flow from the Lord during this ongoing process of restoration. What does that mean, that the, that the gospel of Jesus Christ has been restored to the earth? It means that you and your family can be sealed together forever. It means that because you have been baptized by one who has authority from Jesus Christ and have been confirmed a member of his church, you can enjoy the constant companionship of the Holy Ghost. He will guide and protect you. It means that you will never be left comfortless or without access to the power of God to help you. It means that priesthood power can bless you as you receive essential ordinances and make covenants with God and keep them. What an anchor to our souls are these truths, especially during these times when the tempest is raging. I testify to you that I know that Heavenly Father and His Son Jesus Christ live, that they love and care for us deeply and personally, that they love and care for us even when it's difficult for us to love ourselves. Joseph Smith is a prophet. As a young boy, he received revelation and a personal appearance from our Savior and from our Heavenly Father to guide us in these latter days to bring forth the Book of Mormon to be a comfort and a blessing to us. I'm grateful for the opportunity that we have to live in these times, perilous as they may seem, my love goes out to each of you, and my families as well. We hope that you are doing so well. Please don't hesitate to ask those who are your ministering brothers and sisters if you need any help. Take care. We love you. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.